Hey guys, welcome back to RankFi. You've read the title on this video, so let's just jump right into my computer. So today we're talking about how to do your crypto taxes in Canada, and there are three main steps to get that done. Number one, you want to list all of your wallet addresses and exchanges. Then number two, you want to upload all of your transactions into Coinly, or the crypto tax software of your choice. And then step three, you just check those transactions for accuracy so you can download your tax report. That's basically my workflow for doing crypto taxes as easily as possible. In the rest of the video, I'll go more into detail on each of these three steps. Obviously taxes aren't the most exciting topic. So hopefully this video can save you hours and hours trying to sort your crypto transactions. So let's go more into depth on how to do all of this stuff. And I guess the first place to really start is by explaining what is Coinly. Well, Coinly is a crypto tax calculator. There are many of these on the market, but I've been using Coinly for the last three years. And I'm gonna put a link to Coinly in the description below if you want to sign up for a free trial. But essentially, as you can see, it is supported by the Canada Revenue Agency, which is something that I like. And if you have lots of wallets, lots of exchanges, chances are you have a lot of crypto transactions that you have to account for and a crypto software like Coinly makes it very easy. You can upload all of your exchanges and wallets and then it will just automatically sort your transactions, your transfers and tell you what your capital gains was for the year. And I've used a few of these crypto tax calculators. What I found is none of them are really perfect. If you're into DeFi, if you're into staking NFTs or anything very new and emerging in the crypto space, there's going to be some complexity with your taxes whether you're using Coinly or something else. Coinly does not support every single blockchain even though they have tons of integrations and exchanges. Uh, trust me you're gonna have some issues with any of these crypto tax softwares but Coinly has been good for me so far and as you can see they have support for Canada, TurboTax Canada and 20 other countries as well. Now, just so you know, Coinly does let you sign up for free and upload your transactions so you can get an overview on your portfolio. But to actually download the reports and the capital gains, you do have to pay money. However, this is cheaper than sending it to an accountant or someone to do it for you, which can cost hundreds or thousands of dollars depending on the complexity. But anyways, the way any of these tax softwares work is the more transactions that you have, the more it's gonna cost. But this is the pricing, just so you know. And Coinly is pretty good because it has lots of features Features, capital gains preview, portfolio tracking. It has lots of Canadian exchanges you can import, mining, staking, lending, airdrops, all that stuff. So now let's jump back into the three steps on how to do the taxes. So before we sign up for Coinly, the first thing you want to do is list all of your wallet addresses and crypto exchanges. So if you live in Canada, you can look on the screen, you might be using some of these platforms here. You want to make a list of all of your wallet addresses and exchanges that you've used in every single year. So if you're just doing your 2022 crypto taxes, make sure to list every wallet and exchange you've ever used. Uh, this will be important later on, which I'll, which you'll see. So I just did a sample. I grabbed some random addresses from the blockchain and I just keep this in a spreadsheet to keep it all organized every year. And if I ever open a new wallet, I just add it to that spreadsheet and I know where to collect all my transactions. And if you're using something like MetaMask, make sure to make a row for each network that you're using. So if we open up MetaMask here, if you have Ethereum, if you have optimism arbitrum make sure you get the wallet address for each blockchain that you're using even if it's the same address because we'll have to import that into coinly as its own wallet so once you have all this organized that's the easiest part step two is we're gonna upload all of our transactions to Coinly. So let's do that now. So if you don't have a Coinly account yet, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to a page like this and you can just enter your name, email, and password and create an account. So I'm gonna do this and fast forward. So there we go, I'm making a dummy account for this video. After that is it's gonna ask you, are you an individual or a business? For this video, we're gonna do individual. What do you want to use Coinly for? Tax reports and portfolio tracking. Choose your home country and your base currency. So now we have to, add our wallets and exchanges and as we can see coinly has tons of crypto exchanges they have tons of blockchains and tons of wallets and if we go to the dashboard obviously we have nothing in this new account so there are two main things you can upload it's your crypto wallets and your crypto exchanges so let's go back here and let's grab our crypto wallets and do that first because those are going to be much easier so we'll just start with this one here we have a binance chain so what you're going to do is you're just going to search Binance and you'll see right here Binance Smart Chain or Binance Chain BNB. Paste in your address and this is a public wallet address that's so all available on the blockchain. That's why these are very easy to import. And you can see Coinly is syncing all of the transactions and it will upload soon. 
Then I will do the same thing for MetaMask, which is Ethereum. So you just put in Ethereum right here and that'll pop up. I think you can also just search MetaMask and there you go. You have MetaMask and all the different chains that you can do. So let's do MetaMask ETH set up auto sync. You also have the option to do from a file. We're going to do auto sync and you just put in your public address or key import. And it's going to take a few minutes for that to sync. You're going to do that for all your crypto wallets. I'll do the Bitcoin one quickly as well. Search Bitcoin, click Bitcoin, get your public address and import. So all my crypto wallets are currently uploading. Now we have to do the crypto exchanges. So there are two main ways you can do the crypto exchanges. You can log into the crypto exchange and download the transactions or two, you can connect the API to Coinly if that option is available. I recommend downloading your reports and spreadsheets from every exchange regardless, just so you have a record of that. But let's do ShakePay as an example for this video. Once you get to your ShakePay account, you can just see download history. So you can just click this button and it will download the file. Every crypto exchange will have this somewhere. Usually it's in the settings or your profile page. And to show you another example, this is KuCoin. You would just click on the top of the screen here and go to spot trade history. And this will show you where all of your order history is. If you have anything, this is just a sample account. Now, when you download some of these spreadsheets, it's not always formatted correctly. So you have to format it in a way that Coinly will be able to read it. And I will put a link to Coinly's help article here. And basically they have some free templates you can download and you have to make sure the spreadsheet columns are readable by Coinly. So this is a very important step. I use the universal template. So if we open this up, it'll show you something like right here. You can see there's some other people on this page, but Coinly wants you to have the date the sent amount, sent currency, received amount, received currency, and all of these. And so if we have a column here, I will copy, let's say all of the dates, I will paste it in here, and then I will just organize the transactions into the appropriate columns. It might take a second to get used to, but basically if you're just sending cryptocurrency, like a transfer or a withdrawal, that will go into these columns. So right here, for example, somebody sent 1000 USD. And if there's something in the received column, that means this was a trade. So they sent 1000 USD for it looks like one Bitcoin, pretty good deal. And the fee for that transaction was five USD. Now for this transaction, they just sent 0.5 Bitcoin and they didn't receive anything. For, so this was probably a withdrawal or a transfer. And then here they received one Bitcoin, which is also just a deposit. And this one has a label for mining. You can do labels for rewards and stuff like that. I will put a link to this below where it gives you instructions about this format. But when you download the reports from the crypto exchanges, you just have to make sure to format it in the correct template. As you can see, here is one of my spreadsheets and I have it saved on Google Sheets and you just format it and it's all good to go. Once that is done, you can go back to Coinly, click add wallet in exchange, search up ShakePay and then import the file. Now, if you're lucky, some of the exchanges such as KuCoin will let you just set up an API connection. You'll just see the setup auto sync here, which is recommended. So this will automatically import all of your transactions. And if you click on this, you need to get your API key, API secret. This might look a little confusing, but it's pretty easy. Coinly gives you instructions all the way through. So if you're having any trouble, you can just go to the help page and it tells you how to do that. And if we scroll down here, it says how to connect Coinly and KuCoin via API. So we're going to sign into KuCoin, find the drop down tab called API management. So let's go to my KuCoin account. Here we go, API management. And then we'll create an API. We'll name it something like Coinly. We can create a password, etc. And whenever you're creating these APIs, you want to do read only transactions. If you click trade or transfer, whoever has this API key can trade or transfer funds in your account. Obviously, you do not want to do that. You want to just always check off the read only. They only want to be able to see the transactions, not actually be able to move funds in your account. And then you would just enter your keys into Coinly, click secure import, and then it will automatically add all of your transactions from that platform. Now, I still recommend downloading the reports manually just so you have it on your record. But KuCoin works very well with the API. A lot of platforms like Kraken, KuCoin, Binance, they all have APIs, but a lot of Canadian exchanges like Newton, ShakePay, Endax, ones like that, they do not have API connections yet. So just keep that in mind. Now the wallets have uploaded and synced. 
And as you can see, it'll give you errors. And that brings us to the final step three, which is check your transactions so you can download your tax report. So we need to find any errors and stuff like that. And from these random wallets that I grabbed, we have about 450 transactions or so. As we can see, there's already one error here. The address is most likely for the Binance Smart Chain, not the Binance Chain. So I'm just gonna delete that and re-upload it again because it's not showing any transactions. So we'll go back. Click Binance, Binance Smart Chain, import, and wait for that to import again. And now that we have some wallets in here, we can see our portfolio history. We can do the last 12 months or filter to 2022 and see we have 387 transactions based on these wallets. And it gives you kind of your holdings and all of this cool information. In the top of the screen, you can click wallets to see an overview, and then you can click inside each of them and that'll take you to the transactions tab where you can see all of your history and you basically want to just look through this and make sure there are no errors so here we have a note that we sent bitcoin somewhere and because these are random wallets these are just empty but usually it'll show you that you sent this to your other wallet and it'll all connect pretty seamlessly and when you're going through transactions you can click on this you can click on this warnings tab and then it'll show you ones that have warnings in this particular example we don't have anything yet but you likely will have some warnings to look through. And then once you're done sorting through all your crypto transactions, all you have to do is click on this tax reports tab. It'll give you some information. Like again, we are still on the free plan. It'll give you some info like how much income you made from airdrops, forks, loans, your total cost and expenses and trading fees, things like this. And then to actually download the report, that is when you will need to purchase a plan. For this example, it would cost $120 because we have over 100 transactions, which may seem like a lot, but it does give you peace of mind knowing that you're doing this correctly. And an accountant or someone else to do all of these transactions themselves will take them hours and probably cost you a lot more than $120. Once you have an account, as you can see in the bottom of the screen, you can download tons of different reports. I usually just do the complete tax report, but you also have the wealth simple, capital gains, income report, end of year holdings, and tons of info you can download for your records. There's also the TurboTax, of course, and Schedule 3. So that's how you do your crypto taxes with Coinly. One, you want to make a list of all of your wallet addresses and exchanges. Two, download all of the transactions by logging into the accounts and keeping that for your record so you can upload them to Coinly. And you also have to make sure that you format it in the correct template for Coinly before you upload it. This is what could take the longest, but once you have that all correct and all your transactions sorted, you can upload them into Coinly. And finally, step three, just check those transactions for accuracy and then download your tax report. So that's my workflow for doing crypto taxes in three steps. Hopefully that can save you some time and some headache. Drop a like if this was helpful and check out the channel for more crypto reviews, tutorials, and videos for Canadians. I'll see you in the next video.